Everweb includes a number of built-in widgets. If you have widgets from third-party providers, you may want to add and organize them in Everweb so that they are easily accessible. When you click on the Widgets tab, you will see the Widget Category settings, which includes the Widget Category list, the Remove Category button, the Category Settings button, and the Add Category button. These features allow you to organize and manage your widgets. The Widget Category list contains two predefined categories that cannot be deleted and any categories that you have created yourself. The All category displays all of the widgets that have been installed on your computer. You cannot remove Everweb's default widgets, but you can add, delete, and categorize any third-party widgets. The default category lists only Everweb's pre-installed widgets. You cannot add, move, or delete widgets from this category. If you have no third-party widgets installed on your computer, the All and Default categories will look the same. To add a third-party widget to the Widgets tab, just drag and drop the widget you have downloaded onto the Widgets list. If you want to add a widget to a category that already exists, first select the category and then drag and drop the widget onto the Widget list. The widget you have installed will automatically be added to the All category. If the widgets you want to add to your new category are in the All category, first select the All category from the Category list drop-down. Then, locate the widget you want to move to your new category and secondary click on it. A submenu will appear from which you can select the category that you want to move the widget to. To create a new widget category, click on the Add Category button in the Widget Category settings. A drop down will appear asking you to enter the name of the widget category you want to create. Enter the name you want and click the OK button to finish. Once you have created a new category, you can add widgets to it by drag and dropping them from their source location. Remember that the widget will always appear in the All category even when you have moved it to another category. If you have a folder containing the widgets that you want to add, you can drag and drop the folder itself onto the widget list. This will automatically create a new category containing all the widgets from within the folder. The category is named after the folder itself. If you want to rename a widget category, select the category you want to rename from the widget category list. Next, click on the Category Settings button. A drop-down will appear where you can enter the new name for the widget category. Click OK when finished. As you have already seen, secondary clicking on a widget opens up a submenu. From this menu, you can delete the widget. When you do so, you will be asked to confirm any deletion. If you delete a widget by mistake, open the trash can and drag and drop the widget back onto the widget list. It's recommended that you back up any third-party widgets you may have in case you need to restore them at a later date. To delete a widget category, select the category you want to delete using the category list drop-down. Click on the Remove Category button. A drop-down will appear asking you to confirm your actions. You can either select Delete Widgets, which will delete the category and the widgets it contains, or you can select Keep Widgets to delete the category whilst moving the widgets it contains back into the All category. 